Selena Gomez drops some serious shade in her latest music video for Love On. I've dissected the video and have some observations. From start to finish, I break down all the references I caught. So stick around till the end and be sure to drop your comments below. In summary, Selena posted her new song Love On, filled with references to Justin Bieber, Benny Blanco, Hailey Bieber, all her exes, and all her enemies, and I'll showcase all of these references in this video. Hailey Bieber responded to Selena's song almost immediately, the next day, and Justin Bieber subtly praised Selena Gomez once again, connecting with her through veiled messages. I've analyzed the music video and have some observations. From start to finish of this video, I'll discuss all the references I've noticed. So watch until the end, don't forget to drop your thoughts and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos if YouTube doesn't recommend them on your homepage. Selena Gomez released Love On and made several references in the music video of this release. First, I was unsure if Selena Gomez's song Love On sends a message to Benny Blanco to wait until she can love him or if it asks Justin Bieber to wait for her. But why the doubt? First, because of the self-explanatory lyrics in the lines wait till I turn my love on you'll get your thrill just promise you'll be patient with the outcome time can't mess with us, and second, because Selena Gomez posted one of the photos to promote the song without the rose tattoo inside a bathtub, which refers to 2019 when she took this picture and hadn't gotten the tattoo yet. At that time, she still loved Justin and was forced to overcome him because he got married. So if she posted this photo to subtly say that this song was made in 2019, then is the song a message or was it inspired by Justin Bieber, on the other hand, the song mentions in French in the first part, a tender love, affectionate, calm, and throughout the song also mentions a lot of sexual connection, which is what she has always desired and is now living with Benny, a complete relationship. The whole song's lyrics refer a lot to Benny Blanco who has the characteristic of being cute, loyal, kind, and calm, after all. Benny is a man who has never cheated on any girlfriend and seems to be very romantic. But another thing that confuses about who this song is directed to is the fact that Selena Gomez represented Justin Bieber with images but the couple representing Justin and Selena has their faces cut off in the video in the scene of the kiss on the stairs and she didn't cut the faces of the couples representing the other exes, like Zayn Malik, The Weeknd, and Nat Wolf in the video scenes. In the video, she supposedly confirms that she was with Zayn Malik even briefly and without publicly acknowledging it at the time, by showing a couple where the man resembles him. The video even has a representation of a kiss between women. Does this mean that she and Cara Delevingne had an affair while they were filming the series Only Murders in the Building? She even wears a dress with the colors of the LGBT flag. Selena Gomez also represented her current boyfriend Benny Blanco in the scene of the discreet kiss behind the sheet. So each of these couples that appear in the video represents someone she was with after Justin Bieber. In total, there were eight couples and eight relationships, including the couple representing her relationship with Justin Bieber represented by the last couple on the stairs, whose faces are not shown, in the video, there is also a scene where a woman is walking tied to someone by the legs. What could this represent? Her and Benny? Her and Justin? Or Justin tied to Haley? After rumors of a supposed divorce that would cost millions for Justin Bieber for not having made a prenuptial agreement. It would make sense to be a hint to this situation where Justin would be tied to Haley Baldwin because of this. Selena Gomez also made references to Justin Bieber in the scene of her dancing on the table as a reference to Justin Bieber's yummy music video where he also danced on the table. Justin Bieber made the song Yummy to praise sex with Hailey Bieber. Which makes me think that Selena made this song Love On referring to the sexual connection with Benny Blanco and with the previous dates to Benny she had, in response to Justin Bieber's song Yummy. Selena supposedly made the song in the same way to provoke Justin Bieber and make Justin Bieber maybe feel the same sensation that Selena felt when she heard Justin praising his sexual connection with Haley through the song Yummy, after a quick and turbulent breakup with Selena. Would it be a sweet revenge? It remains to be seen if after five years of marriage Justin Bieber still feels uncomfortable with the lyrics of Selena's song praising the loving and sexual connection. He has always been very jealous of Selena Gomez. 
does he still remain so today? Selena knows him like no one else if she made the song to stir up his jealousy it's because she knows it would work. She mentions sex in the car, at the bar, in the bathroom. Fans claim that Selena also referenced Justin Bieber's song Yellow Raincoat, in this song, Justin is explaining how he puts up a wall around him. Yellow, symbolizing happiness, rain symbolizing fame, money, relationships, and tough times, the coat symbolizes a barrier. In other words, he wears the yellow raincoat to appear happy to the outside world. But once it's off, he's sad again. The raincoat shields him from everything happening around him. And in Selena's love on music video. There's a scene with her in a yellow dress and an umbrella full of targets, which seems to convey a similar meaning to the symbolism of the raincoat in Justin Bieber's song. Selena Gomez also supposedly sent a subtle message to Hailey Bieber by dressing up as a ballerina in the music video and wearing ballet shoes. She possibly did this because Hailey Bieber takes every opportunity to dress similarly to Selena as a form of provocation. So Selena used the same provocation strategy by dressing in something that is very much Hailey Bieber's identity. And she also teased by bringing her nail designer to participate in the video, who is the same nail designer that Hailey Bieber usually calls to do her nails because Hailey loves to have things in common with Selena Gomez, like going to the same places, such as Pilates classes, restaurants, wearing similar outfits, being inspired by Rare Beauty's campaigns for Road, or doing cooking show, the list goes on. Selena also made a reference to Hailey and other rivals quite mockingly in the scene of the girls going to eat her fries. In this scene, the fries represent Selena's exes, and all the women who have a grudge with her around her who get her exes after Selena had a relationship with them first. And after watching the Love on Music video, Hailey Bieber allegedly made her move one day after Selena Gomez's music release. Hailey posted the new song Saturn by SZA to compete with Selena Gomez's song and wrote Thank God, as if thanking that a really good song was released this week. This song demonstrates insecurity, dissatisfaction with the current relationship, intrusive thoughts. She seems to demand loving actions from Justin Bieber through the song since she identified with SZA's musical lyrics and even shared them. In my previous video, what was your I had already mentioned ever. that Haley told Pastor Chelsea on last week's Who's in My Bathroom episode that one? she doesn't um, remember any special Valentine's Day with her husband Justin. <laughs> Been married for five years, can barely even think of it. Um, oh, no. The pastor laughed and teased her for being oh, married for only five years and at only 27 years, years and old Valentine's and already Day. not remembering special moments with her husband. So her posting this song after saying that to the pastor and then the pastor herself writing on her Instagram that the best thing to revive the marriage is sex, it seems like one thing adds to another. After all this, Selena Gomez went to Jimmy Kimmel's show in Los Angeles on February 23rd wearing a super stylish all-black look that made her beautiful and stunning, receiving praise from most fans. Then came Justin Bieber's gesture that excited Yelena fans. Justin Bieber, absent from Instagram since February 13, decided to post on February 24. One day after Selena Gomez's appearance on Jimmy Kimmel's show, a post from the Maple Leafs hockey game where the caption on the team's profile post said, I loved the all black. By sharing this image from the team's official profile, did he discreetly compliment Selena Gomez by the words of whoever wrote the caption for the Maple Leafs or does the caption have nothing to do with it and he just wanted to support the team? Another coincidence for the list? I've already mentioned several of these coincidences here on this channel. Yelena fans don't think it's just another coincidence. What do you think about this? Thank you for watching this far and see you in the next video.